In our previous video, we showed you how to set up SmartDNS Proxy on various streaming devices like Apple TV, Roku and other popular ones. Well, it's time for more devices. We've only forgotten how to set it up on the actual TV that you use the streaming devices to watch it on. Without any further ado, I'm Vamsi and here's how you set up SmartDNS Proxy on LG Smart TV running WebOS 3.5 and it should be the same for any LG Smart TV. I guess you probably knew that because you're really smart. Let's begin! If you haven't already, go to smartdnsproxy.com and create a free trial account by entering your name, email, address and etc. Next, turn on your LG Smart TV and press Settings. From the Settings menu, scroll down to the Network and select Network Connection. Make sure that your LG Smart TV is connected to your LAN or wireless network. Select your network if not already connected. Then scroll down and select Advanced Wi-Fi Settings. Click on Edit. In the next screen, uncheck Set Automatically. Scroll down to the DNS mode and then enter SmartDNS Proxy Server IPs from the following and press OK. Select the two closest DNS servers to your physical location. For example, if I'm in Canada, then I'd select two DNS servers from Canada. You'll find the complete list in our website, links to which are in the description below. Press complete to save the settings and exit the menu. Next, you need to activate your IP addresses in our SmartDNS Proxy servers. So go to smartdnsproxy.com and under the account section, click on activate IP address. Once you see three green check marks, you're good to go. Now restart your LG Smart TV and it'll start using SmartDNS Proxy. To verify this, now open the Netflix app and you can now play Netflix US. Check out our other videos on how to set up SmartDNS Proxy on popular streaming devices like Apple TV and Roku. Also, keep an eye out for the best tips and tricks and best apps for LG Smart TV that will come out really soon. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'm Vamdu on SmartDNS Proxy and thanks for watching.